Hi everyone. Um, I don't know if you remember me, but in case you don't, I'm Miss Wooly. I'm a practitioner from Howardian University, and uh, your teacher contacted me to send you some activities for this last period. So here's the first one. I really hope you like it. So all you have to use for this activity is a ruler, um, some markers, and uh, the two worksheets I'm sending to you. That's all. Okay, so this activity is divided into small parts. Let's see what you have to do on the first one. So for this first part of the activity, all you have to do is to use the first worksheet, which is the triangle, or what is it called in here, the parabola. So what you have to do is you have to connect the dots. That's very easy. You have to connect one with one and with one again. And then you go and close it. Yes? You just have to connect the dots with every single number. And that's it. So as soon as you connect all the numbers, the ideal result would be something like this, which I hope you can see in this video. Yes? This is all that you have to do for the first part. It's very easy, it's very fast, it won't take much time. Now, the second part, it's a bit more difficult because what you have to do is you have to connect the same dots, but <clears throat> you have to do it on this figure, which is the second worksheet, as it, as it is called, the kaleidoscope. You have to connect the little triangles to have a final result. So, as soon as you connect the dots on the kaleidoscope, the final result should look something like this. I hope you can see it. So, if you think that with other numbers it's very difficult, all you have to do is to add the numbers to the sheet. That's very easy, and that would be a very good guide for you. So, um, a tip for you to add the numbers would be on the top bottom, which is the center, try to invert the numbers. That means, for example, if I have a 1 in here, in this little dot, all you have to do is to add a 7 in this one. And then again a 1 and a 7 and a 1 and a 7. That will help you find where is it that you have to add the numbers and how is it that you have to connect the dots. So once you are done, Take a picture of your results and send it to your teacher so I can see them. So I really, really enjoyed doing this activity. I hope you did too. And um, I'll see you in the next one.